my name is Idoka. You can call me Baba D. Lee. Promiscuous men are called studs and envied, while promiscuous women are called sluts and despised. According to feminism, patriarchal culture has created this double standard. If it destroys the patriarchy, it will also disappear. According to evolutionary psychology, the evolved nature of human males and females can explain this double standard quite directly. And getting rid of it will be very difficult or almost impossible. Evolutionary psychologists believe that human males have evolved to desire indiscriminate sex much more than females. Males evolve that way because they can gain much more reproductive benefits than females through indiscriminate sex. Females have evolved to dislike indiscriminate sex much more than males. Females evolved that way because they may suffer much greater reproductive losses than males due to indiscriminate sex. If a female has little to gain and little to lose through indiscriminate sex, she will easily give in when a male pester her for sex. If these evolutionary hypotheses are correct, even an ordinary female would be able to have sex with many males quite easily if she puts their mind to it. On the other hand, barring prostitution and rape, it would be much more difficult for an ordinary male to have sex with many females. You must accomplish a difficult task to be treated as a hero. Having sex with many females is difficult for a male because females have a strong tendency to reject indiscriminate sex. This seems to be the reason why men envy stars and why women find them cool. If a female becomes pregnant after having sex with a male who does not really love her, she is likely to suffer serious reproductive losses. The likelihood of raising the child alone is relatively high, and females with children are not very popular in the marriage market. If a married female is caught cheating, her husband may severely punish her. However, if a male is superior and can provide good genes, it may sometimes be rational from a reproductive standpoint for a female to have lovely sex with him. If females tend to grant relatively more readily when a superior male asks for sex, then males who have had sex with many females will generally be superior. Not only are promiscuous females not treated as heroes, they are also despised. Why? A male suffers huge reproductive losses if his wife becomes pregnant after having sex with another male. Not only will he not be able to use his wife's womb and breasts, but he may also have to make tremendous sacrifices for the child born that way. Therefore, males may have evolved to have a strong aversion to promiscuous females when marriage is at stake. A female also is bound to suffer reproductive losses if her husband cheats. But there is one significant difference between males and females. The child born in a female's womb is inevitably her genetic child, no matter how much her husband has cheated. Our ancestors appear to have evolved in polygamous societies for a long time. In polygamous societies, superior males often have multiple wives. Such males are socially recognized playboys. If a female dislikes promiscuous males too much, it becomes difficult for her to use the strategy of becoming the third wife of a superior male. In primitive societies, it would sometimes have been more advantageous for reproduction 
to be the third wife of a superior male than to be the only wife of a mediocre or inferior male. On the other hand, there was little reason for a male to formally share his wife with other males. This difference may have caused women to evolve less aversion to a promiscuous person than males in the context of marriage. If males have evolved to be strongly disgusted by promiscuous females in the context of marriage or true love, then for females, taunting their rivals by calling them sluts is an effective competitor repelling strategy. It appears that, for this reason, a psychology has evolved that causes females to pay attention to the promiscuity of rival females, collect or fabricate information about it, and report it to males. Feminists emphasize unity among women, but such unity is not so easy in a love triangle.